Hello and welcome to chapter 228 of our streaming adventure. Coming to you a little earlier today, I have noticed in the past that sometimes I have these plans and I'm like, okay, yeah, we're going to stream today, I come home, let the dogs out, change, get dinner started, you know, kind of unwind a little bit and then i come down and it's like okay time to start the stream and my energy level gets lower and i kind of turn into eeyore but um this is kind of coming right from home and jumping into work maybe that'll keep my energy level higher or my let's say motivation to I, I can't slog down into a lump if I haven't given myself the chance to. And we could get the stream. You'll have good energy from me. And then from that, then I can go eat dinner later. Because another thing, sometimes it's like I rush. I eat dinner too quickly because I'm worried. And I just finished making dinner. So I was active during that and then trying to eat. And I don't really feel good when I do that. So... What if we didn't do that anymore? So yeah, that's part of the plan. The idea being today, um, was it yesterday? Did I stream Wednesday or yesterday? I think it was Wednesday. Um, talking about the changes I want, I wanted to make with the mono red painter whatever version that we threw together and just looking at how could we streamline from the other one we had and this is actually not the version that as i spoilers as i wrapped up the last stream what i wanted to quote try out uh the main change from what that was to this is adding ragavan now, uh, I follow 90s MTG, and they take their content. It's normally people playing paper against each other while uh, Chris comments over it. And what was interesting is Kaplan, Dave Kaplan, played a mono red, like Ragavan painter list. And what I found interesting is that Ragavan is meant to be a lightning rod. So, okay, what I traded were the Imperial Recruiters for Ragavan. Imperial Recruiter is not coming out very fast. It is, I mean, all it's going to be there is to chump block. It's not necessarily going to pressure anything. And what's interesting is Ragavan can be pro, and nobody's going to spend a removal spell on a recruiter because you already got your value out of it. That's where I was going. Um, Ragavan. People are going to fire a lightning bolt or going to fire a swords, whatever, at Ragavan, meaning your welder has a better chance to live, your pater servant has a better chance to live. Ragavan will be generating mana for us, especially the fact that it's going to generate treasure tokens. Treasure tokens that we can either sacrifice to welder itself or have this mana boost up to the four drop that is effectively kind of tutoring a lot of package for us. I, I think that's a clever and or interesting way to go about this. Like, I hope so. And if if that works out, I think this is what we lock in for Honorog's tournament. Now, the only thing worth thinking about is, are these the mountains we want to play? Basic mountain that I have six of. I think I'm I think I'm limited on my options. Oh well then okay I'm not. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put ten of those in. Alright. That was simple enough. I don't know, this mountain's pretty cool. That was a pretty cool mountain. But save uh, uh that's what i was going to do um let me just export this real quick because yesterday people were asking for the deck 
And I haven't updated the deck tracker since, I don't know, it's probably been a month. <laughs> so let me do that real quick. Stream Decker. I knew it was, it was called something. Upload new. This thing set. It should work now. And exclamation point deck in the chat. Ta-da! All right. So before we get things started, I want to say if you are watching this later, either my video on demand or maybe you're catching me over at YouTube, I appreciate you as always. Please consider following the channel. If you really like what I'm doing, consider subscribing. Subscribers get to add suggestions to the wheel. The wheel is where or your name comes up and then we'll work on having something basically the subscriber driven content portion of my stream. So also shout out to Mana Traders for allowing us to play the variety of decks that we do. Legacy League, play points, let's go. What's up, Yoshi? So, the I have good news and bad news for Eternal Weekend. Over the previous weekend, or the previous years, Eternal Weekend has fallen in October. So, I planned on taking Fridays off in October just in case to play around the weekend. And then they put it in November. And the weekends they put it in November include Thanksgiving. So as it is right now, I definitely get to play in the Legacy Weekend. But the Vintage Weekend might be, might be dubious. It's a lot of it. It's going to come down to whether or not we are back from my uh, relatives or not. So it, it it will. November is a sweet month, or October is a sweet month. November is one of the more. Well, that's not true. I get holidays in other months, but November I get a couple federal holidays. All right, so what do we got here? Painter Servant, they have Mulligan to six. Painter Servant, Welder, Engineer, and a single Lotus Petal. This has enough to win. I would need to draw another Mana Source, though, that's true. Turn one, painter servant, and a welder. I think I keep it the dark. Are you doing any of those events? Are you going to go to the Invitational down in Star City? I've gone to one of them, but I haven't recently. All right, Dragon's Rage Channeler from them. And we drew a Ragavine. So they could have Dazes. They could have Wastelands. I kind of want a Painter Servant follow up with Ragavine. Or, no. Nah. I could dash Ragavan, see if they're willing to trade. They probably would trade. I 
They yielded that I should have done. I don't think I need everything to be blue, because then I turn on more. Th I turn more things on in their hand if I make everything blue. So I don't think I want to. Brainstorm. Tundra from them. So they could be the Jess guy. The Sagavan, potentially. Have a swords or have a ending for me. Swords of Plowshares. Swords of Plowshares on the painter screen. Okay. Three mana from them to fairy. Well, I'm going to die from the all the times I've tapped this ancient tomb. One, two, three... Yeah, I, I, I'm playing the long game with Death Shadow here. See, now I'm tempted to, like, Trinosphere... Maybe I should have played Trinosphere. Like, if they respond to Trinisphere, hitting Painter Servant, follow up with a Force of Will, like, I'm just, I'm in all sorts of trouble. Mystic Sanctuary. Brea. Even though they're low on cards, this still feels pretty okay for them. They have not yet been able to make the dragons big. One card left in hand. What could they flash in to block to cause me problems? Force of Negation. Having any kind of red mana would have been cool. How do they only have three? Land, instant, creature. So what's nice here is I just get Grindstone. I float the mana, go get Grindstone and kill them if this card doesn't kill me. Uh-oh. If this doesn't kill me, they die to just kind of float mana and get Grindstone.
Merktide Regent, you got it. They get to dig pretty well here, though. Come on, baby. What a jerk. What a jerk. If they let me get to that turn, though, that'll be pretty sweet. They can't really, right? Okay. I was going to say, there's no way that actually happens. And then just play a big Merktide here. That would have been tremendous, by the way. That just absolutely awesome. Sure. <laughs> uh, all right. So, lose the first game. What theoretically do we change? Did we see... So if they're Jeskai Colors plus Wasteland, Jeskai Colors plus Wasteland, they're probably the normal. I even saw uh, RIW guys, Zach and Kyle, playing this earlier. We could keep most of the Pyroblast type stuff. I guess Soul Guide Lantern does actually have value eating up the different card types. It keeps Dragon Rage Channelers small and stuff like that. Pithing Needle is less likely to be as important. I could also see, like, even though Simeon Spirit Guide is going to provide um, days protection trickily enough, I'm not sure it is necessarily good. Like, I'm looking more at the sideboard. What what do I want to come in? I feel like potentially Magus, but like for the most part, I'm going to be on the play. Trying to have Fury trade with their cards isn't necessarily what I want. Now, they do have the chance to have Null Rod, stuff like that, so maybe a Braid is worthwhile. And then it's also, it's removal I don't have because I didn't have Lightning Bolt. That was one of the things we talked about the other day is the, the trade-off of Lightning Bolt. So then Pyrite Spellbomb is cute, but it's not necessarily the same value stuff that I would want normally. And then like Pithy Needle, Pithy Needle would be for Teferi or Narset type stuff, but... Putting these in the sideboard doesn't mean they are lost as long as Karn still exists. So I'm willing to try that. The Maguses, I'm not sold on. I'm selling myself on the Maguses. They should have basic. They're going to have removal. That's why Magus would be, or Blood Moon would be better. Let's play first. Turn one, Painter Servant, follow up Urza Saga, and actually have spells, but a wasteland messes with me. I don't actually have any gas. Well, Urza Saga could draw me, quote, gas. Like, obviously, this doesn't seem great, but my thought is, I get Painter Servant. Urza Saga is ticking down towards going for... See, then that makes me wonder, do I need to lead with... Urza Saga. Get Urza Saga ticking down as fast as possible.
Let's see if I could do 20 damage to myself with... Uh, I did a lot of damage with Agent Tomb. I didn't necessarily do 20 damage, but it was a lot of damage. Dear, dear opponent, what do you have for me? <coughs> How will we be celebrating this Halloween season? We normally go over with our nephews. <coughs> See, now this makes me think I need to, if I get an Ur if I play an Urza Saga now, I'm building toward, or I play a Pyroblast to protect myself. So normally where we live is kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And so we go to my wife's sisters with our nephews and we kind of help pass out candy and stuff there. It's pretty fun. Uh, I normally have a big dinosaur head that I have, quote, worn as a costume. And... I mean, it can be fun. The nephew's birthday coming up, we are doing... Uh, it is a dinosaur Pac-Man party. And there is a large like Pac-Man costume that I intend to wear. Well, okay, I have been told there is a large Pac-Man costume. And I intend to wear that. But the other question is... If the uh, I, I I won't wear if I wear the dinosaur head with the Pac-Man costume, then I'm a, I'm a Dino Pac-Man, and that seems pretty pretty sweet. I'm wondering because of the pedal if I should have played another Saga to help facilitate a potential. Uh, grindstone. If that makes sense. Sure. They're milling. They're potentially looking for a removal spell because it's coming here. And with the amount of artifacts I ha I can start threatening maybe some. Now they did play the, the land out already. But I can start threatening some constructs. I would like to pyroblast your swords to plowshares. Now the question is, does my pyroblast get pyroblasted? Dragon's Rage Channeler. Okay, they are Force of Negation, pitching. Ooh, pitching a Dragon's Rage Channeler. Very nice. OK. 
Okay, all that stuff resolves. Urza Saga will trigger. Now, we could get the Grindstone anyway. We could get a Shadow Spear and equip. And that would give me... Playing it would be four, plus two a five, swing in. And then the other one can worry about getting a grindstone. Or Murktide Regent, they lost a bunch of stuff over there. They have four card types. We could use the Soul Guide Lantern to pinch a card. Because I only see one creature. I don't like the idea of doing this. We'll equip. And attack. Get our lifelink trample on. I don't think it's good enough, but I'm willing to try to give it a race. What kind of stuff do you like to do? I see you seem to like, you like Halloween. One of my friends is really big on Halloween. Okay, so we have lost... Four cards for them. That If that were a wasteland, that would have been pretty brutal. Dress up for work? That's pretty sweet. What are they picking up? Targeting a ponder? You can have a ponder. Ponder into ponder. Nice vocab word. They did not shuffle off that ponder. All right, good to know. So, I'm gonna put this out there. I'm just thinking, had we instead gone with Sure. Take three. Ponder. That ponder could have been as an instant. I mean, their other stuff still can be. <clears throat> no shuffle on that ponder. Here's a Dragon's Rage Channeler. Yikes. Yikes. Hey, thank you, thank you. I don't know if I have my sound on. Um, so now I think we could still get Grindstone or Soul Guide Lantern to start Messing with their card types. So, Merktide region. All right. Suit up there. They could still have removal here. Theoretically, I could have cashed in that lantern. I 
Because right now, I feel like with Teferi only at two, the trample here lets me kind of go straight at them. Now, they still might have prismatic endings and stuff like that for them. But... Opponent is thinking very hard. Attack them, attack to fair. I think I don't have necessarily any... I don't really have anything going on, so let's take a large chunk out of their life total. Is what I'm thinking. Mm, paying costs. That's a pretty good one. Instant speed meltdown. Uh, not bad. Not bad. So the question is, I think we let them trigger. Yeah, we're not going to have much left over. The question is, do I want the card or do I have to nuke these graveyards? I think I have to kill the graveyard. Goodbye, team. Pass turn. Yeah, dude, pass turn. All right, well, let's get ready for round two. <laughs> yep, not much, uh, not much going on here. I would say, oh, they only have three cards in hand. We can build back. The problem is our two cards in hand don't do anything. Yeah, instant speed meltdown. Good night. Meltdown should not be... Oh, and then an expressive iteration to pull away. Yeah, if there were advantage bars, it would definitely be be not not in our favor brainstorm sure that gives the no they're still at two card types oh no instant brainstorm will be the third card type or mill some sword swords they need a creature. They need to mill a creature. I like that they're throwing away swords, though. That gives us the chance to potentially draw out. Teferi plussing, though. I don't know if Teferi has already plussed for this turn. Casting Prismatic Ending for the value it's not by in oh it's bad for me but it's not bad for them okay a lot of these things don't do anything go to four Well, we can't cast, we can't get in Snaring Bridge yet. What can we get? Go get a Tormod's Crypt. I should have. Yeah, that's my fault. My thought was I needed to play like a pyrite spell bomb or something like that but pyrite spell bomb doesn't do me any good without 
Now, if I'm going to go get Tormod's Crypt here, I should have tapped these two mountains instead. And had I tapped the two mountains, I would be at six life. Six life is better than four life. They could just force a will this. And we're done. All right. Bum, bum, bum. Well, against that Jeskai style, they're going to have threats that are hard to deal with. I'm going to have interaction. And once they have Teferi, the Teferi being able to allow their... Sorcery speed cards, which are normally so powerful, like imagine a sorcery speed expressive iteration, you know, that kind of looking at how that played out, though, I probably should have had Magus of the Moon in play. I did not sideboard Magus, and that is likely an issue. I could see, I could see probably needing to find a way to get Magus in. I buy that. Lion's Eye, even though the way Lion's Eye works with everything else, the generating the mana and things like that. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I do wonder that if, I was going to say, I wonder if the time of day that I'm playing a couple hours earlier than I normally do, would that affect how often? But hey, we won the die roll for the first time in like 20 some matches. I'm not joking. All right, this has a Ragavan and not really much else, but it has a saga that can work towards stuff and I can cast everything. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm drunk with power. The ability, they've already mulliganed. So I kind of want to put pressure on them. Let's say my, my question is, do I want Mountain or do I want Great Furnace? I feel like later I'm going to want Great Furnace. All right. Do you have a removal spell? They potentially do. They have a Prismatic Vista. I'm not sure what Prismatic Vista tells me. It tells me not to play Magus. Okay. Ninjas, perhaps? Upkeep? Oh, upkeep, they were thinking about things. This could just... Prismatic Vista actually is making me think ninjas now. Okay, let's get in there. Would I like to play a ponder? The answer is yes. I could have a welder. I don't know. Based on these things, I think... We found a goblin engineer. Yes, please. So I 
I'm going to need to have artifacts to trade. I'm feeling like Pithy Needle to turn off Retrofitter Foundry might be pretty important. No, 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 no. Jeremy, go get Painter Servant. You're going to end up getting Grindstone. No, no, no. I know what I want. I want a Painter Servant. I know what I'm doing. I'm playing the long game. Because say I have Painter Servant in the graveyard and a grind. Sorry. Painter Servant in the graveyard and Grindstone at play. I activate Grindstone. Targeting the opponent. In response, switch. Painter Servant comes into play. Changes the color of all the spells. Let the Grindstone ability resolve. Knock all their cards away. Which is how it will play out. So now I just want to focus on having a lot of mana in play. Yeah, I kind of want to brainstorm. With all these extra land in hand, yeah, I kind of want to brainstorm. Do I need to brainstorm? I mean, it's plus three cards, throwing away a couple lands. I mean, it gives me an extra red, but I don't necessarily need to. Okay. No, we'll hold that one. End step brainstorm from them. Okay. Theoretically, they could have brainstormed, considering they don't have a shuffle effect, they could have brainstormed to throw something there for me to, like, miss on. Like, they throw a land back, and Ragavan hits land, and suddenly I don't get the ability for myself to brainstorm. Does that make sense? I can't believe I yielded through their turn. That's that's just terrific, Jeremy. Um, yeah, so we'll float one. We will search. We'll get a grindstone. We will... Play another Great Furnace. We will hold control. Grindstone target our opponent. Respond. Just to be safe, we'll say blue. Okay? Got him! So, based on seeing a bunch of cantrips, basic lands, and retrofitter foundry, I feel like that's ninjas. And if it is ninjas, I wonder if I want fury. I think I want a braid. Um, I don't believe the ninjutsu mechanic is casting stuff, so I kind of don't want Trinisphere. 
I think Soul Guide Lantern. Like, if if we look at what are the silver bullet aspects, the bridge, the Trinosphere, Pithy Needle, Spell Bomb, Shadow Spear, those could still be okay. The life gain off Shadow Spear or them trying to block with uh, little token guys. A braid can hit a variety of things. And snaring bridge potentially isn't the savior that I want it to be, but it's like, am I really seeing anything else in the sideboard? Potentially Fury, if they really are uh, ninjas, I could see Fury doing a number. So if Fury were to come in, what would come out? The bridge. But maybe they're combat-based only. It's plausible. Could trim a Karn. Could also trim Simeon Spirit Guides. Like, the idea behind the Spirit Guides is to add acceleration and or pay for dazes. Now, they might. They could very well have dazes. Or it's a it's a hidden hidden mode for Pyroblast to be able to have Simeon Spirit Guide, but my thought is if I bring in another Fury, I could take a Karn and then maybe a Spirit Guide. I don't know that this is correct. I'm thinking about them being creature-based, even though they haven't technically shown it, and that's why I'm leaning this way. Let's see if that pays off. Welder, engineer... I got to be able to have stuff I can do with that, like Trinosphere, right? I mean, that's that's a start you want, so I don't see how I can't keep that. Ornithopter, so they are engineers. Ponder. Or I should say they are ninjas. Now, no, that's not necessarily true. We haven't seen ninjas, but we have seen... Maybe they just want to trade their thopters into fork wars. That's entirely plausible. I wonder if I with Ragavan is a no, Ragavan's a monkey, it's not a goblin. I was wondering if I had Cavern on Goblin, I would have it for Ragavan and the Welder and the Engineer, but that's not necessarily true. Mm -hmm. Play an engineer. Force pitching ingenious infiltrator. <coughs> Spoilers, it's ninjas. It is in fact ninjas. Um Alright. Now I hope, yeah, I, so I almost feel bad, but Hey, you have an ornithopter again. Come on, man. No attacks. OK. 
Okay. You now have a servo. No blocks. Well, you got to declare blocks. Because no blocks gives them ninjas. OK. Got to find a way to mill them. Yikes. Um. Yikes. If that thopter attacks me, I can't stop it currently. Yep, no blocks. This is painful. And the reason I'm playing these lands out is what if I get Ensnaring Bridge or whatever, right? Yep. Servo, servo, servo. I think, that, I mean, they obviously can't be mono blue ninjas, but they, they have revealed a black card, but instead we're just playing this game. Okay. I think they should make multiple they should make multiple one ones. I that's not what I meant by multiple one ones, but I think it's understood. Uh-oh, Black Source. They are playing the most mismatchy. Maybe they do it on purpose. Are they the kind of person that they don't care, so they try to tilt the person that obviously does care? Because I probably care. I probably care too much, if we're being honest. More than is... Oh, they've they've waited all this time to snuff me out. And a fatal push. You got me. Well, at least there are no ninjas lurking, because that could have been terrible. Yep. And I'm I'm still ahead in the life race. That's terrific. Okay, so one, two. They could just have a force for this. Force pitching days, that's kind of funny. All right, so here I think they start cashing in. They cash in the Ornithopter to a 4 4. I think you got to. Yep. If I generate it, it'll be a one, two, three. Taking six. Okay. Still six. Okay. 
Ouch. Ouch. That was pretty powerful. Can I afford to do this? I think I have to. So they didn't respond. Connect and move it over. That wasn't bad. Whenever a ninja you control deals damage. Murderous cut. It's what do they find on that's that's a good one with your Eureka trigger. That's that is a very good call. Two, four, six, flip a five. Whew. Whew. Could have been worse. I actually wonder if they were meant to keep somebody home to block and then sacrifice it so I don't gain well it's trample Big bucks, no whammies. Okay. So all I currently have to do is stay alive and bring that spell bomb out of the graveyard. Because Yuriki, each opponent loses life. Sudden Edict. Target player sacrifices a creature. One, two, I'll take it. You got burn spell? That's a good one. I would like to spell bomb you. I almost did the draw a card effect. <laughs> almost did the draw a card effect. All right. Give me. We got a win there. 
Give me just a second. I will be right back, and then we will continue. Right. Needed to, I was going to say refill my water, but actually because I tried to get started, I had forgotten to grab water. So we did not exactly start the stream with full, I don't, I don't know what I'm going for there. Resources? Lost the die. <laughs> We lost the die roll to a Teferi fan. Turn one, welder. Turn two, engineer. Turn one, welder. Turn two, Karn. I'm going to keep. Excuse me. Scrubland! <laughs> Exclamation point, Scrubland. Orem's chant, me? I'll allow it. Am I dead? I might be dead. Okay. I guess my uh, mulligan decisions didn't matter. Now I got a bunch of engineers instead of One, two, three. 
actually. Turn one, painter servant. Turn two, float. Colorless Goblin Engineer. I play a Lion's Eye Diamond. No, I need one more artifact. So let's just start with this. Let's put there out there for the purposes of having it out there. Let's put that out there to scare them. How about that? Underground. We're not going to have many targets main. Might as well mess them up if we can. Okay, so now... Yep. That does it. Get a grindstone. Fast turn. Because now what we are building toward. Could I have done it? I could have had an extra colorless. That doesn't change anything. Now, two mana, Painter Servant. One, trade the Grindstone in. Crack Lion's Eye Diamond. They're dead. Reasons not to name certain colors. Don't want to name blue or black because I think the Veil of Summer messes with me. Green gives Force of Vigor possibilities. So I'm currently thinking white or red. Maybe white. I'm trying to think how, what does white ever backfire for? And I'm not coming up with anything. I feel like we are not going to have much sideboard against them necessarily, though. Let's look at that uh, sideboard again. Surgical. I mean, if we could get a quick Magus, potentially. Yeah, I could see Magus messing with them. Um... Magus. I feel like I don't really want to necessarily bring in any of these other ones. We already have Karn. Keep the Karns. Yep. You got it. Ponder after all that. Why would you not play it off? I mean, I guess Mox Opal can be any color. Tropical can only be blue or green. It makes sense to use Ponder off your blue or green. They got a shuffle. They might not know they are dead. Dark Ritual. Burning Wish. Tendrils doesn't quite kill me yet. And this might be the path they have to take. They could get a Tendrils. Um, they have two black. They would have to respond to this to have the mana to cast it, though. 
Okay, go get Echo. That makes sense. Crack your lion's eye. Okay. They had Veil. You and permanence you control gain protection. Yep, spin it up. So they were going to die. They currently are not going to die. But I do have Pitch Pyroblast. That's cute. I'll counter that one. You already have your 10 storm. Maybe this can disrupt you. It's worth a shot. Okay. Brainstorm plus cards overall. It would have been better to save for Brainstorm, but then again... There are so many different colors. I don't necessarily know that they are going to... I, I, I mean, choosing the blue targets that I can see, if that makes sense. Because they might not have too many more. Unless I can paint the world. But then, I paint the world, try to Pyroblast, and they already are playing Veils of Summer. That could go poorly for me. You know, so... Got to be careful. I'm not sure. This is their th third turn, so they've already played a land. We appear to have broken up stuff. All right, well, I'm going to play a Saga. And this only does my own. So I'll deploy Team Welder. Right now, I don't necessarily want to trade their Lotus Petal for their Mox Opal. You know? Lotus Petal does something. Opal does not. What did they reveal? They wished for that, and then they cast it. Okay, another fetch. Yield second main. Do, 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 do. I can I can appreciate that. Storm is going to have many lines of play involving many delicate decisions. Just like you're looking at your hand like, I don't know, does this do anything? Trinosphere would do something. Trinosphere is lurking for us. What did Engineer get? I've, I've already forgotten. I think I was setting up the kill. So I don't feel too bad about that. I mean, I might as well attack with two of them. If we're, for the purposes of how this is going to go, I don't see myself trading. Maybe if there was like an artifact land or something to get going. Okay, so then we'll make. A saga, make a saga. Theoretically, I could have an ancient tomb there. One, two, three, four, five. 
They're going to get big quick. That's why maybe the life gain helps. Sure. What do you got? What do you have in the sideboard to get you out of this? Galvanic Relay. Okay. Imprint or no. More veils. More chromoxes. Okay. Setting up for a bigger turn. Lion's Eye, Opal, Lion's Eye, Lotus Petal, yikes. That was not exciting. So, they have upkeep effects. I assume this is going to be an Orem's chant. Kicked Orem's chant. So I may not attack. I cannot play spells and creatures can't attack. Is this a mana ability? Can I? I would need to trade that out. That doesn't do what I want it to do. I took away the lotus petal. Whether that was correct to do. Okay. They see the writing. So, like we were saying, um, I think Magus, but Judge. Judge, we need to see Pithy Needle versus Lion's Eye Diamond. Lion's Eye Diamond is indeed a mana ability. Womp womp. Okay. So, Snaring Bridge. Potentially gaining lifelink or trampling over their things. That's something 
Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So yeah, the I couldn't do the pithy needle trick I'm thinking about. So then what else would I even want to pithy needle? You know, it's it's more what do I want to sideboard in? I think surgicals could mess with the echo pile when they go for it. Wishclaw. Wishclaw and Feshlands. Those that is a good point. I was not considering those. Thank you. Okay. So it's not it's not garbage, but like Pyrite Spellbomb? Pyrite Spellbomb is not going to be what we need in, in this particular matchup, but like a quick Trinisphere? That could be nice. Soul Guide Lantern could be a, in response to setting up a, the Echo Lion's Eye interaction. Maybe not, though. Karn turning off the Artifact Mana, I think, is going to be pretty sweet. The other question is just the in general aspect of all these pyroblasts, red elemental blasts with, what do you call it, uh, the Veil of Summer, having to turn their cards a color and then have Veil of Summer stop me is something I'm kind of worried about. So I'm willing to cut a couple of them, keep some of it because they still have blue cards. I think I'm going to go like this. All right, game two. Let's see what we draw. Well, bounce pithy needle in and out. Changing targets every time they play a fetch land. Now, I saw Verdant Catacombs. I believe Verdant Catacombs tends to be the most played fetch land out of uh... two delta, three verdict catacombs, two tar. Okay. They only had to go to six. Now here's the question, do I start Pithy Needle? Or do I start a welder? Yep. I mean, draw five cards is pretty good. Verdant, Wish Claw, Veil, Ponder. Well, based on that... Oh, I'm sorry. New Burning Wish. Are they allowed to play them? So, Ponder, Wish Claw, Veil, Burning Wish. I want to hit Verdant Catacombs because that takes away their access to flu. They play Wish. It's either Verdant. I feel like they could always draw another one, whereas I knowingly turn off Wish Claw. I did it. Verdant Catacomb.
Let's strand some of these cards so that they can't use it. One, two, three, four, five. They've drawn one card. They could still play it out. They just maybe don't want to. I don't see why you don't. You might as well get the card out. Yep. Yep. Okay, so they lost all the other ones. So now... Attack. Stole a tendrils of agony. <laughs> well, they still have burning wishes, but two burning wishes are gone. I really hope to draw a, now see now maybe that would have been a reason not to not to crack to give ourselves the potential for a turn a next turn Karn just by drawing a land. They had another the third burning wish. Getting an echo. They're going to refill their hand here. I mean, I think they have to. They played this one. That is a lot of lion's eye diamonds. They had another echo in hand. Yeah, they got to crack all of theirs and they have to just hope to hit. It's too bad I don't have the Pyroblast, because that would have been hot. Okay, we have the Pyroblast now, and we got our floating red mana. I mean, you got me. Blue spell. What do you got? I have been chanted. So what do I got here? Two, three. I have them dead on my turn. If I don't die. Ancient tomb, painter, servant. Play the grindstone, lion's eye, crack the lion's eye, grind them up. Yeah, someone's going down. Is it me? Or is it them? Or maybe we'll have new hands. Burning Wish number four. For the tendrils that was already exiled? Nope, this is a different tendrils. Main deck tendril, side deck tendril. All right, they got us. Bang. 
Did that show me anything? Surgical is already in. We have the Carnes. I mean... Pithing Needle was clever there, although it ended up being multiple uses of Wishclaw Talisman. So maybe Pithing Needle really did need to be Wishclaw Talisman, and long term it would have been a bigger... It would have had more impact. All right, want to say thanks for watching. Um, if you are not following the stream, consider going ahead and hitting follow. It's free to do, and it helps support me, and I would appreciate it. And, and it will give me the strength to win game three. How about that? I mean, maybe not. Uh, this is a storm deck, and I just might die. But... Let's play first with Urza Saga Grindstone. I got Engineers where I would want Welders. Ragavan. Ragavan Pat. That's not. I have the feeling like something is going to happen immediately, so I need to. I don't feel like this is proactive enough. Like, I don't have a permanent red source. Other stuff's going to go away. And even Saga is temporary. So I'm going to mulligan that. Okay. Ragavan. I think we want to, so we're, we're very close. I'm going to keep this. Hey, you, how are you doing? All right, so we keep this clever. I want to have the acceleration to Karn, so I think I'm going to send this. Done. And I'm going to start with Ragavan. And if we don't hit properly happy friday to you uh i am getting there is a anurag has a subscriber tournament tomorrow and so i'm trying to figure out exactly what i want to play before i have to lock in a deck list which reminder jeremy you have to register a deck list i'm writing that down so i don't forget register deck list jeremy so I'm likely only going to be able to play in the Legacy half. Um, Legacy falling on the November 20th week is doable. The November 27th falling on Thanksgiving as of right now is likely not, which is kind of painful. But it's one of those things where before it would fall on Halloween and a lot of the people that I would travel with, they had to worry about their uh, family commitments and stuff like that. And so I just wonder, and I hope it's not a case of, well, hey, we tried to put these events out there and, and you guys didn't want to go to them. And it's like, no, no, no. You schedule them on top of like a Grand Prix that's going on right now as well as, well, they, they put the Legacy one on top of this, like, fake Grand Prix Vegas that Channel Fireball is doing. It's going to be a big modern one. But, and then the other thing is, you're on top of a holiday. So, I don't know. It's just, it's... They did cap, but they capped on, like, random October weekends, and they actually did it ahead of Halloween. I feel like they actually had a plan that's not true they they stumbled into a good chance for them and then ugh. i i certainly plan to try to do all three events we'll see how that goes i might have to hop on the elliptical over there to keep my blood flowing we'll see 
Yeah, I do. I do hope they would make changes before it, but I'm a little worried they are trying to use Eternal Weekend to detect if they need to make changes, you know what I mean? And I feel like that would be painful. So the Saturday ones are not, but the Saturday ones are at 7 a.m. my time. And honestly, that's that's why I'm not playing, because I don't get up in time. Now, the Sunday ones are firing, but they tend to be like right up to the last minute. And, you know, you can still get the 64th person to fire it. Okay. So let's play an Urza Saga. Let's exile a spirit guide. And let's play Karn Boys. Karn Boys. Karn me. Okay, we already have. Let's go get Painter Servant. So, yeah, I do think it has, like, in general, I, I do think there are problems with Legacy, and I think it is kind of moving people over to Vintage. So, good for them. Like, I haven't really played Vintage lately, because I'm still frustrated, and I think the part of it is maybe it's healthier than I'm willing to give it credit. I just haven't been there to check it out. So that's that's on me more than anything else. Um, things at work have been crazy, so I haven't been... Uh, my... my let's... <laughs> okay, there are certain things that... It does help to think about what you're going to say before you say it, because I almost said something pretty bad. But I'm glad I didn't. So look at me. Um, let's attack. Yeah. Normally I do not. Normally that's not a thing. Restraint. Restraint is not something. That happens a lot. I'll cast that. Hell yeah. Hold on. Do I want to send that to their graveyard? Nope, you may be exiled. Wish claw for good measure. I, I've seen a couple streamers playing Esper Reanimator in Modern. I don't know if that's something that would catch your eye, but seeing, uh, I think it's Spider Space. Spider Space is the person I saw doing it, and I thought it was pretty sweet. So shout out to them. I don't know if it has legs either, but it's cool. And sometimes, sometimes it's just gotta, you just gotta be cool. He says in the most uncool way. Did I cut the lion's eye? No. I, they better be dead. Hey, wins the match. You go, Ragavan. So obviously... Ragavan is a is a plague on the world, but it's kind of it's kind of working out right now. So 
I'm glad that I made the change. And let's see if we can keep it rolling. <clears throat> JP's wife suggested I try streaming earlier than later. And I think that's probably a good decision. She's going to go get some Chinese food. I bet you she's going to come home and be watching Murder, She Wrote. She has been watching Murder, She Wrote the last few days. That Jessica Fletcher. It's it annoys her because I walk in and I'm like, I'm like, oh, so did this person do it? She's like, no. And then later it ends up being it. And she's like, oh, it was that person. I go, of course, it's that person because they're like a semi famous actor. You know, that they plug into a role and it, they never put like the semi famous actor in unless they're going to get like decent lines of dialogue or are relevant to the story. But then there's other ones that I think I think there's part of the problem is that they weren't known actors way back when they were on Murder, She Wrote. And so like I know them, you know, 40 years later where they're in other things like Fred Willard. Fred Willard was like a cop or something. The the principal from Breakfast Club was just like it like going for captain or something. It's just it's really strange. All right, we lost the roll to Sherboy. They were last seen playing Jess Guy Standstill. What do we got? We got Ragavan. We have Goblin Engineer. Urza Saga. This feels decent. All right. So we could blow their mind. We play Ragavan, or do we play... Yeah. Well, I do. That is one thing I will give. I will give Murder, She Wrote credit. They are usually much better than some of the stuff we watch now, like writing wise. Like the writing on some of the stuff we watch now, it's like that person obviously did it. You know, things like that. Whereas, I don't know, it, it definitely seems cycle a street wraith. I think we got some doomsday going on. Force pitching personal tutor. Too bad for you. I play main deck pyroblast. Pew 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 pew. Get wrecked. Wrecked. If they just kill me anyway, that's really going to make me mad. <laughs> Personal tutor. This has to be Doomsday. Ponder. I'll allow it. They have three cards left. No, they have three cards left and they're resolving Ponder. I don't... So I'm not going to say that I love or don't love Murder, She Wrote. Often I look at it and I'm like, we're watching, we're watching this. But she will often turn it so that we can watch something that we would normally watch together. We ate a misty rainforest. Okay. So... I think I just Trinisphere him. Oh, yeah? I know you love Murder, She Wrote. I just, I don't, I don't have to love Murder, She Wrote, but I can appreciate that Murder, She Wrote is well written. That doesn't mean I have to like it.
Tritosphere is great. Uh-oh, they can cast one spell. Sure hope it's not Doomsday. Do they have three different underground seas? No. Okay, two of them are the same. Really? So they're going to go to six here. I'm wondering if me attacking somehow somehow helps the pile. You know, like, are they going to stack it in such a way? Are they going to stack it in such a way that me sneaking in with Ragavan is going to be problematic for them? Hold on, hold please. Street Wraith, Street Wraith. Do you think they change, like they have different arts and whatever so they mess me up? Well, they can't use Street Wraith, so we have one Street Wraith here, one Street Wraith here. Deep analysis. Because keep in mind, if I were to attack, that would put them at four life. Plus, we still have a Trinisphere in play. I think a lot of it's going to depend on what do we draw. That didn't do anything. Two Edge of Autumn? Okay, that could be a thing. Because cycling does not cost them. So there's five cards. Let's imagine they gave me one to eat and then cycle, cycle, um, oracle. I think the question, yeah, is so they can't get, they would have to get through all the cards in time. If I don't, I can kill them all in one go next turn. So I'm I'm gonna I am willing to say they were banking on me taking a card, and we'll see if that is relevant. I don't think it is, but we'll see if it is. Well, what would have been amazing would be to draw a pyroblast there. Okay. They did have two street rates. So, yeah. I think it depended how deep they had to get on the card, but it didn't it didn't actually matter cuz I couldn't remove the oracle. So, could I have drawn a card somewhere? Yeah. So the fact that they did have both street rates makes me think I did that poorly. Or it was still there. It just wasn't the bottom card. And maybe... 
maybe it went street wraith cycle street wraith so that if i take a street wraith then they still have edge of autumn and then they only have to spend if i took a so either they cycle street wraith for two life or I pay two life and take away Street Wraith. Yeah. So it ended up being the same whether I did the two life to cycle the card for them or they did. Bah. All right. Torpor Orb. Torpor Orb Maguses? What about Surgical? What about surgical? I don't think these matter at all. A braid is not a braid is not re re what we are here to do. Pithing needle, I believe. Does Pithy Needle stop cycling? If I name Pithy Needle for Street Wraith, can they no longer cycle? I think the answer is yes. I don't know that the answer is yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it feels like I should be playing Surgical, if not other than to mess with their... I can I can mess with this their their stack, I guess. Goblin welders, pyroblasts, ragavan. The sagas could be slow. I am bringing a magus in. I'll cut a saga. I'm I'm cutting multiple single I'm cutting multiple targets too. All right. Welder, grind, grindstone has to be pretty good against them, right? I mean, you can stack it in a way to their benefit, but... I would have to use the Lotus Petal for Welder. And then I really don't have red otherwise. Yeah, I was thinking, oh, I play Engineer, and I Engineer into a Trinisphere, but that might not be good enough. You know, what if they Thought sees me here? Do they play Thought Seize? No, they play Personal Tutor. So now I just die. Can we shuffle them? Well, this makes things slightly different. I wanted to I wanted to engineer setting things up. They're going to have to So either I go for engineer or I sit home on pyroblast. Oh, I also could have got Torpor Orb. I could have got Torpor Orb, and then I would still have Pyroblast available to me. Maybe I should have done that. I was too locked in on going for Trinisphere. And I mean, it, what if I just I die right here because I could have had Pyroblast available? 
maybe that's what I needed to do is I'm not giving. I'm either not giving Doomsday enough credit or. I'm thinking I have more time than I do and I don't. Yeah. We can see what they change with their sideboarding. So Street Wraith, Street Wraith. So there's two other Street Wraiths. Uh, I don't see the Lion's Eye Diamond here, so they just need to set up. They need to set up flipping into, they had Hercules. Pact of Negation, Duress, Duress. Force, Force, Force. So they're still holding a Force of Will, too. So Force of Will in hand or deck. Two Street Wraiths, uh, Edge of Autumn, Oracle. One, two, three, four Dark Rituals, Lotus Petal. I only see three Lotus Petals, so they might have Lotus Petal and Lion's Eye. I don't know. Do they play... Uh... They could have Cavern of Souls for the sideboard. I think I guess the question is, can they get into the pile right now or no? And then that comes down to like they would have to make the decision once I play the engineer. Once I play the engineer, they know Trinosphere is coming. You know, should I have been clever and gone Mountain Ancient Tomb so that I don't have the artifact ready to go? But then I could have Pyroblast. I could still have Mountain and Ancient Tomb available to me. That's what I'm wondering now is did I mess up by telegraphing what I was doing? You know. Cycle Street Wraith, hit the Lion's Eye, cycle again, in response crack. Two more cycles should be all they need. Crack for three blue. Pitching, force of negation, chain of vapor. Consider, throw away my other card, deep analysis, Thassa's Oracle. So with that setup, I probably should have kept Pyroblast open. That's my own fault. I should have kept Pyroblast up. Well, two and two so far. Overall, I do like the changes we made. I do like the... So the overall slimming of things and uh, taking out the Imperial Recruiter package that we talked about the other day, I do like that set of changes. I also like what Urza Saga has given me as uh, more options. But the other thing is the amount of times we have drawn Ragavan... I I think it's I, I think it makes a lot of sense why Ragavan is a troublesome card. Um I'm thinking potentially we trade one of the spirit guides for another one. Uh I I I started by taking just the three imperial recruiters and turning those into the Ragavans to try the slots cuz we ended up putting the recruiters back in as a let's say stopgap but I, I have been impressed by the, like I, I said at the beginning, the lightning rod effect that people are going to want to deal with Ragavan, thinking, oh no, this stuff is bad for me. And that frees up the welders, frees up the painter servant. If anything, I have been less impressed with the Goblin Engineers, I keep getting those stuck in my hand, and they are not as flexible as Welder. So maybe Engineer number four could be a Ragavan. I could see that before I lock in my deck list. 
I could see that. Do, do, do. I think I still, there should still be a good amount of time before decklist needs to be locked in. It should be 8 p.m. Pacific. 8 p.m. Pacific is 11 p.m. JP time. That's why would you click that? That's not correct. There we go. All right, match number five. We won a die roll again. We're trying. Two, two die rolls. What do we got here? Turn one Karn. I don't know if that's good. It's got to be good. Turn one Karn. Turn one Karn can start getting me whatever I want. Keep. Draw out a force of will. Come on. Hey! I don't even know if that's good, but it's a win. Hooray! Okay, so if you play a turn one Karn and your opponent scoops, does that mean a braid is good? Probably does. A braid's got to be good against the person that, like, auto scoops to your, um, artifact deck. Yeah, so then the question is, oh, well then what's bad? Let's say they, let's, let's choose an artifact deck. What's an artifact deck? Thoughtcast, the Thoughtcast deck. Is Soul Guide Lantern good against them? Probably not. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut a Goblin Engineer because I've been overall grumbly with that. We're going to be on the draw. It could have just been a, a poor thing for their hand, too. In general, Pithy Needle feels like it could come out. Because it's too... Pithy Needle is too... Too generic. All right, what's this? This is a Ragavan. I don't know. This seems interesting. We're going to be on the draw. This could certainly be better. They're keeping seven. Definitely got some clunkers over here. Okay, there's Saga deck. Urza Echoes make sense. That is entirely believable. Okay, so how about I think that was a yield to turn.
We exiled an ancient tomb. Okay. I think that's all I really want to do right now. We do have a, a fair amount of mana. We could have braid as needed. Ah, I do like maybe having Soul Guide in play. That could have done something. Maybe. I just didn't think... I didn't think playing Ragavan normally, giving them the chance to... If I would have played Ragavan normally and then they're able to hit with Saga and make a blocker, I just feel like that's more problematic for me. I could be wrong. Colorless combo deck from the challenge. Oh, hello there. So. Kind of curious what they're gonna get with this saga. They might just generate creatures. If so, then I can try to sneak under the bridge, get under the bridge, and then hide behind painter servant. And that could just be this is their alternate plan right now. Get something like a shadow spear. Yup. They would lose the Lotus Petal to do it. Have another Urza Saga. Okay. I think you equip Shadow Spear. Okay, they are eight cast. Eight cast type things. Right now, one, two, three. If I do nothing, minimum, I can play an ensnaring bridge and stop the Karn Shrucks from eating me alive. Mm-hmm. Sure, take it. Really like to draw land here. Well, I think I have to buy the time. So I've reduced the amount. Okay, they have a base guy. They've reduced the amount that I can 
get overwhelmed by here unless I continue to flood and then I might have to panic with uh well no I can play a ragavan and I can dump the hand as necessarily if I have to would they have a hercule or something to that effect sigh Psy can generate a lot of little problems. Oh, I I know something I have done before is echoing to fill somebody's hand under a bridge. That that's a fun one. I did click through this the other day. I need to be mindful if I do need to emergency lion's eye. I just would hope to draw a couple lands here first. They, I was going to say, they could very well have Teferi. I've seen the blue-white echoes. I've played blue-white echoes, and being able to have a Teferi to bounce on and Searing Bridge is powerful. Yikes. Wonder what they search up here. Could be Pithy Needle. Could be... I don't know. Aether spell bomb bounced to my hand. I've seen Aether spell bombs been pretty good. Where's this bobble? Wow. Saga into saga into saga. Pretty good. I have revealed the painter servant from my hand. Take five. Dying soon. Come on, land. Okay. So, can I deploy? So, I can't get to Karn. I probably should have waited for that. Because this puts me at three. Too bad I don't have more zero casting cost stuff to get down. What do we name here? Everything's already blue. I don't know if I... Ne See, like, is this the kind of deck that has force? I don't feel like they do. Imagine if this was Ancient or City of Traitors. Did I need to save one more life? Potentially. So no attacks from me. See what the opponent does. They have a bounce spell. Okay. That's fine. Jeremy, do not miss beginning of combat. 
Or do I have to do it in their main phase? Maybe I do. No, I can do it beginning of combat. I don't I don't think this is gonna do good for us because I mean I guess I don't take damage. I get one more tap out of Ancient Tomb. And if I can hit running lands, we have a chance. Sure. Thoughtcast it is. Thought monitor resolves. Don't forget, Jeremy. Do not forget the lion's eye. Yep, that's rough. So that gives them one, two. Okay, they now have three thopting. Thop, thopting? Thopting? They have three flyers. Had it. Had it the whole time. Should have played around it. We're going to draw like Karn. <clears throat> what's better is that it was basic mountain and not like say great furnace that could be problematic they just need to get like pithy needle on or mishra's bobble have we seen lion's eye from them some of the eight casts I saw actually ignore the Lion's Eye Echo. You know what I mean? Sure. Force, Force. Saga number four. Yep, it's pretty good. Like, I've tried to yield through the turn, like, multiple times. Nettle Cyst, pretty good. I just realized I was clicking the wrong buttons. That's why we were having trouble. That's a nice 11-11. If they were able to equip instant speed, I would be in trouble. Yep. Let's go get a grindstone. If we can hit a two mana land, yeah, if we have to hit a two mana land to bring back the grind.
Come on, baby. You go crazy over there. You let me you let me know. So here's the question is, do I need to No, we just play that. They're dead. Unless they have a counter. Oh, they had it. Does this say... It could have been any artifact, but we're still there. We're still getting close. That was all my turn still? Okay, sorry. I'm really into this. I feel like I feel like this should still work. Did that even get anything? It got an Urza's bump. So they just need to keep their hand full of forces. Yep, yep, yep. Draw, draw. Might be able to deck them. <laughs> All right, so we can't actually cast that. Right? So if we trade... No, because we have to trade for a grindstone. So yield through this turn. Theoretically, I should have waited till their turn unless they had like, say they have like a bounce effect. But if they have a bounce effect, wouldn't they just bounce? Yeah, see, so we're done. That's all we were waiting on. All we were waiting on. And they maybe they knew it. That's why they were drawing so hard to get there. Um... Okay, so what changes? Actually knowing what they are. Pyrite Spellbomb is a lot less impressive. 
Soul Guide Lantern can do a decent job of fighting with Emery. All the blasts are going to be good. The abrades are going to be good. Trinisphere. So with Trinisphere, Trinisphere applies last in the layer where it says, like, say you have Affinity and you reduce your cost, you still have to go back up to Trinisphere. But if I could get if I could get like a turn one Trinisphere, that's pretty good for me. And then we're both living under. Uh, then it's an Urza Saga race. I don't feel like Fury is going to be good enough. I'm just wondering what more to bring in. Probably Magus. Two Magus, and I take out a Pyrite and a Saga, since knowing I am switching. That's plausible. All right. Game three, match five. Let's do it. Do it, Rockapella. So what do I got here? I got... Ancient Tomb, Goblin Engineer, I can't do that because I need to trade. Hmm. They can get out ahead of Lotus Petal, potentially. Play Psy here. Psy would be problematic for me. Play out their entire hand. Emery. Thought Cast, Thought Monitor, and a Saga. Two white. Okay. Yep. If they don't trade here, that's going to be super weird. I think they have to trade. Like, Chalice on one is theoretically bad for me. Yeah, I think you have to there. Ooh. 
do I want my own Emery? I'm going to say no. So the question is, Emery is exiled at the right time. Ugh. Ugh. Three mana thought casts. They can, they're allowed to play three mana thought casts. They should play a three mana thought monitor. No, thought monitor is four minus three. Or it's seven minus three. It costs four. They should play a three mana thought cast. Did they do it wrong? I think they did it wrong. You have to declare it before you pay. You have to like click it and then try to pay for it. There you go. That's what you got to do. Trade? Like, they probably drew a card in the interim. Theoretically... See, it's going to be another time that not having enough red hurts me, which is kind of surprising, but... They currently don't have three mana. And if they were relying on like Emery to give them the three mana, that's kind of funny. Ooh, they didn't. They thought Mox Opal still was turned on and it is not. Come on. Pass the turn. No attacks. We have a couple couple of one twos just looking at each other. Come on. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I didn't think about that. That's funny. Tap to shoot yourself. <laughs> nice work. Nice work. Uh, chalice, chalice check. Just want to make, make sure they're paying attention. Nothing, nothing to see here. Definitely, definitely didn't take two points of damage for no good reason. That was that was completely unexpected. Yep. Pass. Did I have to go for Trinistry? What else could Trinistry have been? See, I don't have permanent red sources. Maybe I should have a Mox Opal. 
I could see sliding a Mox Opal somewhere would be interesting. Why didn't you bring back your Thought Monitor? Well, this, this is literally just wrong on whatever they're doing. What are you doing? Okay, they finally got around to remembering they play cards. Yep. I don't necessarily want to clear the Trinisphere, or I'll just get eaten alive, but it's kind of problematic right now. Artificer. Goblin Artificer. Goblin Artificer. Monk. Of course, Monkey Pirate. What were you thinking you would be? A monkey artificer? No, he's a monkey pirate. <laughs> yep. Like, at least they can't go zero, 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 zero. Like, all of that, I feel like, saves me some way, but... So hear me out. I kind of want to use the Lotus Petal and City of Traders. Uh, Red Elemental Blast won't protect me. Yep. Force costing them everything on that side. So now the question is, do I go after Pastor. See, right now, I would theoretically lock myself. Magus would give me less less mana to work with. I don't necessarily want to do that. Their end step, weld that out for a lotus petal. Go back to my turn. 
Probably makes more sense to weld it out for a painter servant end step if I can set things up to kill him. Not sure what's going on, but they're trying to pay something. Say you're trying to play the seven mana one. So this costs five. You can't currently play it. Can't currently play that one either. I could play Magus. Magus takes them down to three. But then gives me... It doesn't really give me too much. I'm going to pass there. Pass with the option to do Trinisphere Tricks. Okay, so you would like to Petty Theft this. Going to five. What would happen if instead... Turned it into a painter servant. Yep, they're going to play a whole bunch of stuff now, make a whole bunch of top twos. But this was going to happen anyway. So, generate Mox Opals, maybe. They had a, hand, a handful of Mox Opals. Not the greatest with the Trinosphere from your opponent. Generate some mana here. Get a Thought Monitor. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Create an Air Force here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two swings. We're dead. Yeah, that's all they really need. And having wasted plenty of our time, they might still kill us. That'll be frustrating. A new chalice, sure. Just just in case. Goblin Welder. Nope. Oh, well, we end up dying there. Touch frustrating. I feel like there might have been spots we could have played differently. I mean, Chalice did hurt me. We did bring in a Braids, even though we didn't necessarily know what we were bringing in a Braids for. But once again, I feel like Engineer not being the same as Welder. I also maybe... I kind of messed around at the beginning of that game. It didn't... It didn't start off right. Um, I was trying to think how best to... And it could have very well needed to have start with a dashed Ragavan instead of what I did. But overall, I do... I do like the changes from... What was it? Wednesday until today. I do think Ragavan is, is worth its slot. I think a Goblin Engineer could turn into a Ragavan. Um, I do wonder about maybe Lion's Eye in the sideboard. Our, having the Lion's Eye come up off of the Saga has been a little cheeky, a little cheeky, a little clever. 
having it come at exactly the right time. I do wonder, as always, pithing needle just in the dark, unless you know what you want to pithing needle for. It's a, it's a little weirder. Um, I guess if we didn't want to get rid of the goblin engineer, we could keep we could keep the last goblin engineer there. Have the pithy needle turn into a ragavan. Is there anything that needs to torpor or liquid metal coating and snaring bridge? They all kind of have their niche. The question is, what matches do I need in snaring bridge? Where do I need two ensnaring bridges? Um, it's the times that Goblin Engineer needs to tutor out the bridge and then hop it back into play. Is that going to come up enough? Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, the idea that we could, we could have the bridge on my opponent's turn... And then on my turn, I'm free to attack. And then the bridge on the opponent's turn. But then again, what situations is that really happening? I mean, probably not that many. Having the having the ensnaring bridge available as a seven mana play does seem a little bit more than we need it for. But I guess it's four mana plus a lion's eye. That's not crazy. Just looking at what else might be worth changing. I mean, maybe we just have the one bridge. And if it gets sided out, then that's fine. As opposed to, if we're trying to make the, the main deck as streamlined as possible, bridge lives in the sideboard with the ability to change as necessary, and then maybe Pithing Needle lives in the main. We are going to be playing open deck list. Open deck list means maybe Pithing Needle in the main is worth a touch more. I could see that. Anything else worth changing? What did I write? I wrote register deck list. So, okay, fair. But I don't really think there was too much I was uh, unhappy with. Like I said, I was happy with the Ragavans. I do wonder... So if we play the fourth one, am I am I opening myself up to more? Would I rather have, say, an abrade type catch all answer in the main? Let's look at what the other deck had. Uh, lightning bolts, pirate well, pirate blast, red elemental blast is going to help the just blue matchups in general. I do wonder about something like a worm coil. Like a, a bigger, heavy, heavier hitter. Sundering Titan. Sundering Titan would be... Hear me out. What if... What if you were able to turn, turn one welder... Turn two Goblin Engineer, Sundering Titan. Is that something that would interest you? Because it seems pretty cool. And you have to name one. Yeah, you can choose a land of each basic type. So if I have a mountain and you have a mountain, it's your mountain that we're blowing up. Now, it's not as good against... Non basic lands, but I guess that's that's what the the Magus and stuff is for is against the non basic lands. So we have the basic land answer, we have the non basic land answer. This is this is a Jeremy. This is a Jeremy special. So I think I think that's what I do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lock this in for tomorrow's tournament. Now I am not planning to stream it uh i believe honorag will be streaming on his channel he'll have all his coverage set up so hopefully you can tune in tomorrow and find me there if you want to tune in other times you can always 
follow the channel. It's something free to do, and it lets you know next time I'm coming around. You can find me on Twitter. It's also jpintermtg. You can find my content later when I post it over on YouTube. Also jpintermtg. Hey, thank you, Zyphon. You can go to swishgaming.com. That's my team. We're in West Michigan. There's a bunch of other great content on there from my teammates. And what else? Exclamation point Discord in the chat. Come on by. I post in the Discord the decks I'm thinking about playing, the different, uh, you know, the grumble cakes of my day, what I'm feeling. Hey, I'm going to go live. I know it's not normal, but it's a Friday and I'm out of work. Let's go stream. So come join me there. But as always, thank you for spending your time with me. You could be anywhere else, but you chose me. I don't know what that says about you, but I do appreciate it. <laughs> All right, everybody. We will see you next time. Not sure exactly when that is, but see you then. Bye-bye.